Our cities are assembled in a hodgepodge of eclectic styles. Strata of architecture from subsequent generations accumulate next to each other. Sometimes this assortment of styles is pleasing to the eye and contributes to a sense of texture and history. However, all too often whole neighborhoods exude stylistic sameness with little or nothing to interest the eye. The Terra Sanctuary Project will focus on an undistinguished block in Seattle's Central District, currently housing roughly 90 people of widely varied social and economic backgrounds in 30 structures. The goal of the Terra Sanctuary is to house, feed, and employ the entire city block. First, all the houses on the block will be torn down and components will be saved to be reused. Items in usable condition such as bathtubs, lighting fixtures, countertops, and flooring will be preserved to be used in the lower cost housing units. Timbers, rubble, and concrete chunks from the pre-existing homes will be saved to be used as structural fillers. Clay, sand, and soil excavated from the site will be saved to make earthen walls. The sanctuary will be carefully planned to meet the needs of its residents. The general design will emphasize graceful curvilinear shapes, with large covered central courtyards providing indoor communal space, light to interior housing units, and a place of beauty where light, air, architecture, and landscaping combine to inspire and lift the spirit. Housing units within Terra Sanctuary will be designed for a diversity of lifestyles and income levels. From large sunny penthouses with views on the southwestern sides of the habitat to smaller low-income subsidized units on the northern side. Senior assisted living units will be built at street level for best mobility. Subsidized housing for caregivers will be located in the habitat to provide more timely assistance, reduce commuting, and make on-call shifts much more bearable for caregivers. The designers of Terra Sanctuary will be careful to utilize earth building techniques, such as the proper orientation of windows to make the most of passive solar, composting toilets, gray water recycling, and rainwater catchment from the roofs, low flow shower heads, and the most energy efficient appliances. The sanctuary will be wired for LED lighting, and a massive heat pump system will make efficient use of the heat collected from passive solar with tubes extending far underground and heat pipes placed under the floors of the housing units so wall space is not wasted on heaters. Three modest sized vertical farms will be built on the north side of Terra Sanctuary. The lower portions which are shaded by the housing area will be home to businesses and administrative space. And the higher sections which will be well lit from all sides will contain greenhouses fertilized with on-site compost and watered by rainwater catchment from the roofs of the habitat. Solar energy will be generated from three sterling solar mirror arrays on top of the vertical farms. The side of the block which is facing a busy street will have a large earth berm structure built to accommodate both large and small businesses. Business tenants will be chosen to attract a variety of economic activity ranging from a 99 cent store to appeal to the lower income residents to a destination restaurant or brew pub to draw community awareness to the businesses. The residences will be served by underground parking. A pool of hybrid cars will be provided to licensed drivers who choose to live in the sanctuary without a car. Terra Sanctuary is intended to solve a multitude of humanity's problems while providing a structure that will attract people to its lifestyle by encouraging careful stewardship of the planet and building a dense interactive community.